Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Queen Elizabeth II's jewelry collection is as unique and magnificent as her illustrious reign. A brooch is not merely a ceremonial accessory, it underscores the queen's status while also narrating her personal story. It embodies elements of romance, strength, patience, continuity, and generational connection, all adorned on Her Majesty's coat lapels. In this video, I have endeavored to showcase 10 of the lesser-known brooches from Queen Elizabeth II's collection. Although the late queen wore most of these pieces infrequently, they are no less significant. Before we begin, please support my channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you. This is a pearl and diamond brooch that was once in the possession of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. This exquisite piece features a substantial pearl, which is complemented by an intricate floral spray adorned with diamonds. The earliest photographic evidence of this brooch being worn dates back to 1974. During the subsequent decade, it made sporadic appearances, predominantly at more casual events such as presenting polo prizes and attending the Royal Windsor Horse Show. Its provenance remains unclear, and its visibility diminished in the latter years of Queen Elizabeth II's reign. In 1901, King George and Queen Mary undertook an extensive tour of Canada. During their stay in Montreal, Queen Mary was presented with a magnificent enamel and diamond maple leaf brooch. A commemorative book of the tour records that, shortly after dinner on Wednesday, a simple ceremony took place at Lord Strathcona's residence, during which mementos of their visit to Montreal were presented to their royal highnesses by the members of the Citizens' Reception Committee. The gift to the Duchess, which was presented by Lady Strathcona and Mrs. Drummond, consisted of a spray of maple leaves crafted in gold and enamel and set with diamonds and pearls. An album of Canadian views accompanied this gift, along with a richly illuminated address, which read, To Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cornwall and York, May it please Your Royal Highness, As a souvenir of your visit to this city, the members of the Citizens' Reception Committee respectfully ask your gracious acceptance of this jewel, which reproduces in its autumnal tints the maple leaf. A contemporary newspaper reported, the jewel consists of a spray of six maple leaves mounted with diamonds. No two of the maple leaves are alike in form and color. They are of solid 18 karat gold, beautifully enameled in delightfully delicate tones. Notably, when the brooch was not in use, Queen Mary chose to display it in her private apartments rather than storing it away, indicating her deep appreciation for the brooch and its exquisite craftsmanship. The brooch was subsequently inherited by Queen Elizabeth II, who wore it publicly only twice, both times during a visit to Canada in 2010. In January 1947, Princess Elizabeth undertook the ceremonial launch of the flagship aircraft of the British Overseas Airways Corporation, christened Elizabeth of England. During this event, she christened the plane by pouring champagne onto its nose from a George III silver beer jug, dated 1766. To commemorate this occasion, the BOAC presented her with a brooch designed in the form of their logo. This brooch is adorned with diamonds and features two rows of baguette-cut sapphires for accentuation. In The Queen's Jewels by Leslie Field, it is noted that Queen Elizabeth II typically wore this brooch when flying with BOAC. However, it was one of many brooches in her collection that was worn periodically before being set aside. On her 21st birthday in April 1947, Queen Elizabeth II made a poignant vow, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. But I shall not have strength to carry out this resolution alone unless you join in it with me as I now invite you to do. I know that your support will be unfailingly given. God help me to make good my vow and God bless all of you who are willing to share in it. She remained steadfast to this promise for the next 75 years. Among the numerous glittering gifts she received for her 21st birthday was a six-petal diamond flower brooch presented by members of the royal household. According to a report by Tatler at the time, the princess personally selected the brooch and brought it on her South African tour, assuring the royal household she would wear it on her birthday. 
The brooch became particularly iconic later that year, when Queen Elizabeth II wore it to announce her engagement to Prince Philip. She continued to wear this brooch regularly for the rest of her life. The Flame Lily brooch was a 21st birthday gift from the schoolchildren of Southern Rhodesia to the Queen. Made of diamonds set in platinum and white gold, the brooch is designed to represent Zimbabwe's national flower, the Flame Lily. The piece was designed by Len Bell, a jeweler based in Harare, and made by Eric Kippen for Sadarsky and Son in Johannesburg in 1947. When Princess Elizabeth received the brooch, press reports noted her gracious words, Thank you very much indeed. It is really lovely, followed by her immediate action of pinning it to her yellow dress. In 1952, the future Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip embarked on a tour of the Commonwealth on behalf of her father, King George VI. While in Kenya, enjoying a short respite from their busy schedule, they received the news of King George VI's passing. The royal couple immediately returned to England, where the world first glimpsed the new queen as she stepped off the plane. Dressed in all black, the first jewel worn by Her Majesty as Queen was the Flame Lily brooch. This particular brooch was another gift for Queen Elizabeth II's 21st birthday in 1947 from the Girl Guide movement. The brooch is designed as three trefoils, symbolizing the guide badge, and is adorned with diamonds, rubies, sapphires, and topaz. Over 500,000 Girl Guides members contributed a penny each towards the creation of this gift. Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Margaret had been members of the Girl Guides since 1937, when they established the first Buckingham Palace Guides. This group consisted of 20 girls, all daughters of court officials and palace employees, with their cousin Lady Patricia Mountbatten serving as patrol leader. Based at Buckingham Palace, the group engaged in typical Girl Guide activities such as hiking, making campfires, learning first aid, and earning badges. During World War II, their activities continued at Windsor Castle, where they also contributed to the war effort. Reflecting on her experience, the Queen later remarked, I have fond memories of my years as a sea ranger and of becoming chief ranger of the British Empire and then patron of the Guiding Association. While the core values remain constant, I have been delighted to watch it evolve, led by the ambitions and needs of the girls of today. This brooch was gifted to Queen Elizabeth II by Michelle Obama during the state visit to the United Kingdom in 2011. President Obama later recalled that Michelle had carefully considered what would be an appropriate gift for Her Majesty. She ultimately chose a brooch from Tiny Jewel Box, a jewelry shop in Washington, D.C. The brooch is exquisitely designed as a flower, incorporating moss agate and diamonds set in 14 karat gold. The Queen first wore this brooch on the evening following the state banquet. Michelle Obama later remarked how, Despite the opulence of Her Majesty's attire and the magnificent jewelry she typically wore, she chose to adorn her outfit with the modest brooch gifted by the Obamas. This particular piece holds special significance as Moss Agate is unique within the Queen's collection. As a gift received in her official capacity as Queen, it now forms part of the Royal Collection. The aquamarine cluster brooch worn by Queen Elizabeth II is a striking piece featuring diamonds and a luminous blue aquamarine. Known as the birthstone for March, aquamarine is cherished for its serene blue hue. The brooch is distinctive in its design, characterized by circular sections that form the outer diamond cluster and floral motifs nestled between these circles and the central aquamarine. The exact provenance of the brooch remains uncertain, it could be either a relatively recent gift or an older hidden treasure from the royal collection. This brooch notably captured attention when the late queen wore it during the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Valletta, Malta on November 27, 2015. In May 2019, Queen Elizabeth II showcased the brooch once more during an audience at Buckingham Palace. She donned it while presenting the Queen's gold medal for poetry to poet laureate Simon Armitage. Following Queen Elizabeth II's passing in 2022, the brooch has not been seen publicly, but it remains a cherished piece in the royal collection. This particular brooch is believed to have originally belonged 
to Queen Mary of Teck, who was photographed wearing it in the early 1900s. Queen Mary is thought to have worn the brooch on various occasions, including during the Cow's Regatta in 1909, when the royal family was joined by Tsar Nicholas II and his family. Queen Elizabeth II wore this piece only once, at a horse show in Windsor in 1997, where it complemented her gray suit comprising a jacket and skirt. Most recently, Queen Camilla was seen wearing the brooch at the Easter Sunday service at St. George's Chapel in April 2024. These vintage brooches, crafted by Cartier, feature textured gold flowers adorned with diamonds and sapphires. According to Leslie Field in The Queen's Jewels, these exquisite Cartier gold flower clip brooches were acquired separately in 1942 and 1945 by King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, who then gifted them to Princess Elizabeth. The late Queen Elizabeth II was known to wear these brooches, particularly on her North America trip in the fall of 1951 and during a visit to Bracknell in 1991, usually positioning them side by side in her preferred brooch spot. Although not among her most favored pieces, the late queen did wear them from time to time throughout the years. This pair of brooches was also recently seen on Queen Camilla during one of the traditional Holy Week appearances of the British royal family. Thank you for watching this video. Share your impressions in the comments and support my channel by subscribing and liking. Thank you.